The upcoming eclipse offers all sorts of opportunities for us to discover more about how the universe works. And with Northeast Ohio in the path of totality, we will be the center of it all. While cell service could be an issue with possible influx of thousands of people here that day, the eclipse may actually open new insights into how we use technology across the world. News 5's Play Lepard shows us how students will be testing communication equipment during the eclipse to see just how far a message could go. For a moment next week, the moon and the sun will share the spotlight. But atop this eight floor building at Case Western Reserve University. Whiskey 8 Echo Delta Uniform from the campus of Case Western Reserve University calling CQ. Students will focus on the space between. Specifically the hundreds of miles far above the clouds but below outer space, known as the ionosphere. You know what? Let's let electrical engineering student Adam Goodman explain. The ionosphere is very difficult to study. Um, it is too high for planes to be able to fly to it, but it is too low for spaceships to be in there. So it's at this very awkward area. Goodman says that stretch of the Earth's atmosphere is also where GPS and radio signals travel. And that's where he finds his joy. It is special for me. He's one of the students that make up Case Western Reserve's amateur radio club. We just got so lucky with this experiment, the fact that it was happening at this time in this place. Just one of the several amateur radio, also known as ham radio, operators across the country and the globe that are set to test what happens when the moon gets in the way of the sun. Can radio messages travel further than ever before? or perhaps not at all. We're going to see who can receive signals at what time and therefore be able to s study whether the eclipse increases our ability or decreases our ability. Studying the ionosphere tells us more about that communication channel. And this is a really good time to do that because we have one isolated event that we can kind of control for. There's kind of this mysterious layer of the, around the Earth that allows us to hear people from around the world. And we don't even know how it works 100%. And we're, we're going to learn new things about it from this research. Totality for the solar eclipse is slated to begin a little after 3 p.m. on Monday, April 8th. A blinding moment for many that scientists here hope can open their eyes to new answers about our planet. But I honestly do not know. <laughs> And that is part of the fun. Why? What? That's why we do science. I'm Clay Lepard, News 5. And we all know News 5 is hoping to help people safely see the solar eclipse. Uh, that's why you've got some other news for us. Well, um, Wayside Furniture in Akron has News 5 eclipse glasses to give away all this week. We sent them down a few thousand pairs. So... Uh, we're going to be out there tomorrow. I'm hoping to be there unless we have a severe weather situation that prevents me from going. But during the 4, 5, and the 6 p.m., we'll be down there giving away glasses. Stop on in and see and say hi. That'd be nice. Yeah. And then Wednesday morning, the Good Morning Cleveland crew, Mike, Tiffany, Trent, they'll have glasses at the Great Lakes Science Center from 10 to noon. So if you miss out tomorrow in Akron, yeah. Great Lakes Science Center the next day. Uh, it's from 10 to noon.